Hey friends, welcome back to a new Power BI video. And here I'd like to share a quick tip with you, what kind of new slicer you can create by your own using the tree map visual. So how does this work? Well, let's first use the visual itself. Let's say here's the tree map, we can select it and then choose any of your filter dimensions or any dimension you want to use in order to filter the data. So let's say I'm choosing the region for now. Now, if I do that, by default, I don't have any kind of size in here. So I need to use some kind of numerical measure. So of course I could now say, okay, I'm going with my total sales here, for instance, and I can use the value. I can drag this into the values area, but then I will not have the same size. So obviously you can see here that the sales in Europe are bigger than those in America and for my specific data set here. So that what I want to do is I want to have them exactly the same size. So I can use this as my slicer. To do this, I just need to create a dummy measure. I could simply go inside my measures table here, right click and say new measure. And then let's just zoom in so you can see that better. But uh, it's actually a very simple measure because we simply call it dummy for now. Dummy is equal to, and I simply say it's a one. You can actually put in any number you want. Just make sure that it's a constant because this means that if I select the visual one more time, instead of using total sales here in the values, I could use my dummy. I can drag the dummy inside, remove the total sales. And now you can see that America and Europe actually is exactly the same size. So I can make the smaller if I want like that, either like that next to each other, for instance. And then I can actually use this in here as my slicer. So I can simply go in here to the visuals itself, go to the general section and remove the title. Um, so we only have basically uh, those two countries or in this case continents in here. And then I can add any kind of visual I want. So for instance, I could say now I'm creating my real visual. So let's say I'm using, uh, let's say a bar chart here, yeah, a class of bar chart. And then I want to have any kind of measure. Let's say here my total sales one more time. And I would like to slice this by any kind of dimension. So if I go to my orders table here, I could say I'd like to slice this maybe by my customer country, right? I can select this and then I can see all the, the countries in here like that. So that is my visual. And next to my visual itself, I have now here my slicer. Of course, let me just select it, just make sure. Okay, I'll select this one first. Uh, so, and actually want to filter the data. So I'll take on the filter option. I just enabled uh, this. If you go to the format option, you can able edit interactions and you see those icons in here. So let me just remove them for now and that's fine. And now if I use this, if I could America, you can see, I can see all the American countries. If I go to Europe, I can see the European countries. And this now is basically my slicer in here. So I'm using the tree map. Um, as we all know, we can use other visuals for slicing, but with the dummy, it simply makes it much more appealing because now I can add this also as part of the measure. For instance, I code it here in the side, what I currently have like that I can make this a little bit smaller here like that. And then I can uh, select my two visuals here and I could group them together and then work with them. Or I could say I'm using this, uh, I've selected something, let me make this smaller here and I drag it like that. Maybe on top of the visual in here, I can place this on top. I could of course remove the, the title header if I want to do that, but you can see that the red dotted lines help me to make it exactly the same size. And again, I can drag it, then place it somewhere in the visual or maybe below if I like to put it here. And then this is my visual. I can group this one more time together and then I have my slicer in here. And of course those colors can be customized because probably you won't maybe not have the same blue here for America as well as for all the countries. Uh, this might distort the view, but you get the point, I guess, because you can simply select the visual, the tree map one more time and under the settings, under the formatting options for this visual, you can change the colors if you want to do that right here or use also uh, a conditional coloring with the FX symbol in here. But that's basically the trick. So instead of having a big tree map visual with different kinds of sizes, which you normally have, if you drag a measure in on it, you can simply use a dummy uh, column as one or dummy measure as one, and then use this as your filter. They are exactly the same size and then can add this to your visual and place it somewhere. Okay, so that's the trick. So hopefully that was interesting and helpful to you. If so, then please give this video a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel. I highly appreciate it. And if you want to share this video, I will also be very grateful. Otherwise, please take care and I hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.